It's a 72 to 67 Buffalo win over the Miami Red Hawks that improves the Bulls to 12 and 3 on the season and 3 and 1 in the MAC and undefeated 5 and 0 at home. You love playing here. Your fans love to see you play here. Uh, to say that you're undefeated at home does not surprise you, does it? It really does. And first, give it out to God who's ahead of my life. And, you know, we were playing for something bigger than the game. You know, sometimes when you play in with something bigger than the game, like uh, suicide prevention uh, for one of our players whose best friend passed away uh, a year ago yesterday, the emotions take over you. And so, as you saw, the first four minutes, we couldn't make a shot. Uh, but we got under our, ourselves, and uh, we had to do it for. And I just tell you, you know, more important in this game, ever ever than this game. You know, just just one more day, man. Just one more day. Just, just find a way to last one more day. And I tell our team all the time, you know, the mistakes happen. They're going to happen. The miss going to happen. But if you just get to the next possession, it's the same kind of mindset. So it's really neat to have a general like this on my side when uh, the going gets tough and I rile her up. Uh, she knows how to get tough. Well, and, and did you do a little bit to rile her up? Because she just came out firing in the second half, not only leading the way on offense with some big threes and some big baskets, but the defense that she played on one of the Max best players in Lauren Dickerson. Well, she's fiery like me, you know. I, she's been with me for four years, and one thing we don't apologize is for our energy and our enthusiasm and purpose, you know. People try to push, push that down a little bit, try to make us become something that we're not. Like, if you're going to throw me out, or if you're going to give her five fouls, don't change who you are. Stephanie Reed is, is a young lady that doesn't get a lot of respect in this conference, and I think that she's one of the toughest kids. I think she's in the top five in, in, in the country uh, in steals, and or I mean assists, but there's nobody talking about Stephanie Reed. We're going to continue to work in the dark and continue to sweep the shed but long as Stephanie Reeves on our team, we have a real good chance to win. Well, you're talking about her. We're talking about yes. her. The folks around here are talking about her. It's always your defense. I know that there's a reason why you're in the, among the nation's leaders in steals and forcing turnovers, and that continued here again today. When your offense was struggling, you know you can always rely on it. Do you have to do anything to get those defensive intensities up at all? Well, Summer Hempel was amazing today defensively. When she was out, the game just seemed a little bit herky-jerky. But when she's out there, everyone takes chances because they know that Summer is going to you know, deflect a shot or, or make a person think about their shot. So defense is what we love to do. I think we gave up uh, eight points too many. Our goal is 59 points. I think Miami of Ohio has an unbelievable coach and they got a good team. We're going to have our challenges at their home court, court. But today, we celebrate. We're in Buffalo. When you come to Buffalo, you're going to have to really, really work hard to try to take what we think belongs to us, and that's wins. Yeah, well, and it was a win here today. Congratulations, Felicia, on another big victory and another classic Buffalo win here. Led by the defense and as always led by the floor general is that a pretty good nickname stephanie reed do you like to be referred to as the floor general i mean yeah i like it i've kind of grown into it i think that i mean i got called it from sophomore year freshman year really and it's grown on me yeah i like it <laughs> all right so let's start by talking about your defense particularly in the second half you knew lauren dickerson was the leading scorer in the mac you know that she's a great player you know it was going to be a battle do you approach a game differently when you see that one of the best that you're going to face all year is the one you're going to have to guard? Um, no, honestly, I respect every opponent that I come against. I mean, she is a great guard, and, you know, she's done her work this year, but, I mean, she's got to do it against us, and that's a whole different story. And, I mean, I come into the game knowing that she's a great player, but, I mean, she's like any other opponent. She's just the person that has to come against us. Just two points at the half. Did you come into the second half thinking that you needed to up your offense, that your team was going to need you? And I know you hit a couple of threes early in the third quarter. Did that maybe convince you that you needed to be a little more of an offensive threat? I mean, yeah, I knew that I wasn't really presenting much offense in the um, first half, but I know I had to bring it. But, I mean, Sierra did a great job today of dishing the ball. I know she had eight assists, and, you know, everyone really contributed, and they really opened it up to me. I mean, it makes it easy when everybody else is working twice as hard. 17 points, five rebounds, seven assists, and four steals. Just another night at the office for Stephanie Reed, right? <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. She's our player of the game. Congratulations Thank to you. Stephanie and the Bulls on staying undefeated here at Alumni Arena. Um, I feel like we talk about the same things a lot around here. Steals forced turnovers forced Stephanie Reed doing it all on the court Dillard Owsler Hemphill but that's what great teams do they're consistently good in the right 
areas. That's right, championship level teams, they figure out how to win games. And we'll say something different, it didn't always start off pretty, and it didn't today for Buffalo. Usually they're much more efficient off the tip, but what they did was they had 34 points in the paint, which led to some nice open looks for Stephanie Reed, who hit the shots, which led to more open looks for Cassie Elsler late game. And so again, championship level teams, they figure out how to win games. You know, there's going to be some big games. This was one of them. There'll be a couple coming up. But is this a game, as you refer to championship level teams, where the Bulls really show that they can do whatever it is they need to do to win? This is a very good Miami team that really was pushing them, particularly in the first half. Yeah, and in a funny way, it is a confidence builder because it's just that it's knowing that, hey, we're not going to come out and hit every shot we take every night, and we're not going to be the greatest at everything every night, but what are our controllables? And it came down to the last play, and the controllable is on the defensive end, and it is the hustle and the intensity. And that's what Sierra Diller did to win the game at the end. Yeah, so the Bulls come up with the 72-67 to win. They improved to 3-1 and one in the MAC, and they continue to stay undefeated here at UB's Alumni Arena. It was a fun one. We hope you enjoyed it. Next action for us here here on ESPN3 Saturday when the UB men's team hosts Miami at 2 o'clock here at UB's Alumni Arena. We thank you for watching the Bulls on to another victory. This has been a presentation of the Mid-American Conference and ESPN.